Let's talk about the party. It was quite an interesting party. A lot happened. A whole lot happened. They did have a fight. They had argument. People did revisit old issues and all that. Okay, let's talk about the alcohol drama. PK, Adekoli, and some of the housemates, I think White Money, were of the opinion that the housemates should not drink because they are looking to um, finish off their rehearsal. And Biggie had given them four hours so they can finish off and return the filming equipment and all that. So they su suggested and said, okay, you know what? We should not drink because they feel like some people might drink and get tipsy and might not be able to act and all that which i understand so ek bought the idea some of the housemates bought the idea and at the as store so ek was taking the alcohol and everything just going to store it gave it gave it to a to store it new york came and said no that they should not control them and tell them what to do that they are in biggest house they're here to have fun that that idea he does not bite at all they should bring out the alcohol let everyone drink that for him he's in charge of the dop the camera and all that that he knows he's not going to drink too much and he's going to control himself so let them bring out the alcohol and let the people decide that this is biggest house nobody should control anybody and all that that was how the whole alcohol drama started they started looking for the alcohol they had a number of alcohol that came and they wanted to be sure that they had all of them together because they said some people hold that alcohol the past previous um weeks so they don't want a repeat of that to happen so they gave um do, um, Adekule alcohol. Adek according to them, Adekule was the one saving the alcohol, and Adekule claimed that he has always been the one in charge of alcohol, and he always drinks less and made sure that people in the party had enough to drink. According to him, okay, what then happened when um, Neo looked around? Neo figured that figured that out that Gordon was missing. Neo was triggered. He was very upset, and later on, he gave he gave explanation to why he acted the way he acted he was like previously or past weeks he was not getting alcohol that he always had a situation where oh they finished it or someone stashed it or someone hoarded, hoarded alcohol and all that so he didn't want the same thing to repeat itself he said to himself you know what this time around he's not going to let that happen and that was why he he was the way he was towards um adequately and when he heard golden was in there he went and attacked adequately that you're holding the golden where is it adequately was trying to explain but of course he was not explaining he was actually yelling and shouting he was like oh um Ike gave it to me i have it in the fridge Ike then Neo goes, Ike said he didn't give it to, to, to you and all that. That was just the back and forth. And they went to the locker room. They also had a problem there. Um, um, what's his name? Neo was shouting, bring out the alcohol, let's drink. Bring out the alcohol, let's drink. Benita was there. Benita was like, but you, but you heard alcohol, something of that nature. Neo was screaming and saying, I've never taken alcohol before. I've never starched alcohol before. That's not me. People do that. That's not me. It not looked that it was causing and causing fight and all that. Then Benita then said, I wasn't talking to you. I was saying the hot alcohol. But for me, what I heard was you. She was actually pointing at um she was referring to new but anyway she changed her mind her mouth and said oh she wasn't really referring to, to new she was making reference to the rest of the housemates and all that that was actually the alcohol situation i don't know if benita took that very personal because i think upstairs she went upstairs and she was like she's not in the mood she doesn't want to talk and messi was trying to talk to her she said no at some point messi was like oh um adequately is here adequately is, is calling you he's downstairs not you know you know only the bffs can go up and the head of so they couldn't go up so and uh, she, she said no she doesn't want to talk to adequately that she doesn't want the animal side of her to come out and all that i don't know if she's still upset with a little fight she had with um neo or something else is bothering her guys i really cannot explain when it comes to venita i don't understand her like this minute she's angry this means she's happy i really don't understand her and then for mercy mercy was really upset that the housemates uh, they made up their mind to keep the the chicken they didn't want to grill the chicken because B biggie provided um chicken for them to grill but they said since they don't have food in the house 
I heard there's no food in the house. So since they don't have food in the house, they can keep it and cook it tomorrow. Messi said no that all day she only ate bread, that they can't starve her. They should bring the chicken right now so they can grill it. So she was rallying around. Luckily for her, finally they brought the chicken and the guy that the person that grew that grilled the chicken was um kid wire. And let's talk about what happened between um Perry and Benita, you know, yesterday they had this big fight. I don't know if you watched it. I spoke about it on this channel. This the fight was a serious one, which led to Benita saying a whole lot of things, which I think personally she shouldn't have said. Yeah, so she just said that she went upstairs and said a whole lot of things to um EK. So today EK was not talking to the housemates about it. EK spoke to Kid about it, like said so many things to Kid about it. I don't even know if she even said more today, to be honest with you, because the camera did not show us everything. Come Mary just showed us her and um, showed us Mercy and Venita upstairs and Venita was upset. I don't really know why she's upset. What got her pissed? I'm, I'm kind of confused. So back to the story. Yeah? So, um, AK, not AK, Kid, Cross and Perry are having a conversation in the garden. And Perry was like, um, he's going to make sure that he doesn't put Venita in his advert, movie advert, because he said his movie is coming out soon and he's going to make sure he doesn't put Venita there. And then he added saying that he paid one of the ladies two million and all that. So what is Venita talking about that he's broke and all that? So apparently, yeah, they had told Perry what Venita said. And this was coming from AK. AK told Kid and Kid told um Perry, kid was kid was showing concern or he appeared to be showing concern he was like why would she even say that oh this is a babe that started outside of the house why is she bringing it into the house and all that and Perry goes ah we are okay we are cool i don't understand like i don't know where all these things are coming from and then um kid was like i thought you said you guys are g's Perry said yes and kid was like it could be that locker incident you know the very first week they came they got into the house Perry had made a statement that said i'm going to take your your box out of the stuff something of that nature and um kid was like that was a generous statement but benita took it and chested it and accepted it she made she personalized that statement and made it seem as though it was a personal attack that was coming from kid so um kid was not explaining more how um ek spoke about this the situation like ek said she went upstairs she was mad she was yelling and then she was saying so many other things i'm like oh my god this is not sounding nice so right now perry is aware of some certain things that benita said about him to ek and of course to us because we heard some of it and i think he's already making a decision he said when he comes out he's not going to include that in in, in his movie ad and all that and i don't know the rest of the decision the rest of act, the actions he's going to take in, inside of the house but believe me i i smell doom i smell trouble after this this party they said they are going to continue with their task rehearsal but guys it's gonna be chaotic trust me i smell trouble wahala everywhere so guys basically this is just what the housemates have been up to honestly i don't think there's much more to talk about this is just the mini drama the major drama was the alcohol because um neo was aggressive yelling i'm like i calm down why are you fighting and like i said he said the reason why he went about it that, that way was because previously he never had the whole alcohol like he never got the chance to have enough alcohol people were starting it and he also did say that to adekli because adekli was claiming that he has always been the one in charge of alcohol even when they were playing games he was in charge but um neo did refute that and neo was like the other time um i saw you were alcohol but i didn't get it didn't get to me and he was like oh yeah Perry took it Perry was one that started the alcohol alcohol that's touched the alcohol and all that guys this is it i wish them all the best with their widget task presentation they've been doing great and the pool party was late um they had this water gone gone the one they had from their task yesterday that's a munchy task and um tonight eleva was calm chill she was in the pool by herself i don't know if she's going to end up dancing with people because i'm I still making this video before the end of the party but so far housemates are having fun i am <clears throat> perry and cc they are back together like they're cool 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 playing with water gone and, and all that i'm still asking myself when did the reconciliation happen because i missed it can someone tell me when they recon they reconciled i'm not against them reconciling but i'm kind of curious i really want to know when that happened because i obviously missed it they're kind of very cordial very very cordial and close to each other more than even before yeah t barge and her boo 
nobody can tell me anything those two they have something going on t-barge and neo be cool we saw the stone gel sheep chilling and all that people were eating chicken dancing it was all fun all fun this is it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye